Hello friends, I hope you are well. Techman Pat here. Today we're talking about GeForce Now from Pentanet. That's right, Australia has the ability to play streamed online games. And Pentanet, being an ISP, has pretty much the permission to do this, I guess. They're the only ones doing it. They have a server in Perth and they have a server in Sydney because as you can imagine, anytime you wanna play online games, the worst thing for you is the latency. So you need to be very, very close to a server, let alone the speed of your internet. So in today's video, I managed to get a free priority pass from an event I went to over the weekend called Pixel Expo. They were giving out these priority passes for one month free so I got that and I also got a shirt for signing up which is nice yeah, this is not actually a sponsored video or anything like that I'm just getting to test it out so what I want to do is just tell you a little bit more about this GeForce now if you haven't heard about it before so let's jump into that so GeForce now is a streaming service for gaming think of it as a Netflix of games what makes this different from something like Google Stadia is the fact that you have to own your games already on launchers like Steam GOG EA Play, and that creates a few considerations. Mainly, how fast does the screen react from the movement of your mouse? That is the latency. And of course, the worse your internet being, the worse this latency, making the game itself unplayable. And one of the things I've pointed out about these sort of things before is the fact that competitive gaming just isn't realistic on streaming. But if you want to play something like Terrier, Rocket League, maybe even, I know it's a little bit competitive, but it's still fairly good because you still use a controller. Metro, Rust, look, Ace, Railroad Simulator, maybe Tomb Raider. Some of these games are playable without having a competitive edge. Let's have a look at the price because that's another thing that comes into this. So if I go into my account here, it's the Cloud GG account, so my cloud. Right now, there is a free trial that you can take it out and the rest of it is $3.99 per month and you get 60 minute session time basically you have to restart every 16 minutes which is frustrating and you also don't get any RTX because it's connected to obvious servers that are fairly powerful but you pay for the power so they can't give you everything at once and you've got a low queue priority which means that if there's too many people you've got to stand in queue so you're not always going to get a 60 minute after 60 minute after 60 minute but you know if you don't have a gaming computer you don't have a console Console, you can play for 60 minutes and then just move on with your day. And the other thing is it can also work in the browser. From a casual standpoint, 1099 gets you three hours and RTX still off, but medium queue priority. And this is probably the one that I think works really well. 1099 is the same price as Netflix. I actually don't game more than three hours anyway. I might just play for one or two hours and hell over a year, that is still cheaper than one stick of RAM which is pretty incredible. And priority 22 or 21.99, six hour game session, RTX on for support games and top Q priority. Not a bad price. Now I'm gonna jump onto my speed test because I wanna give you guys context of my situation. I'm on fiber to the node, so it's not great, but I do actually get a very decent speed. I'm not far from the node, but it is a copper cable and the ping should be much lower than it is. But my speeds are great. They're you know, 70, 80, maybe even 90 sometimes. So it's a great speed. And my upload is actually not bad too. Obviously I upload a bunch of videos and I do prefer to that to be as fast as possible. Let's have a look at the upload. 38, oh, 37, hey, that's impressive to be honest. I am paying for 100 down and 40 up. The main thing I wanted to point out is the ping, it's eight to the Telstra server in Perth. Now, if we go back to the Cloud GG portal, click dashboard, we can see that there is a Sydney server and there is a Perth server. There is two ways to play this and one of them is obviously downloading an application for Windows, Mac or Android and the other one is playing in browser. Now my suggestion is to do this on something that's connected to the network via an Ethernet cable that'll be your best experience but if you do have a wireless device like a laptop or MacBook make sure it's connected on the 5 gigahertz network not the 2.4 and if possible Wi-Fi 6 to speed it up. I have downloaded the Windows application so let's jump to that and this is what that looks like. It 
It's very similar to the GeForce Experience application and you have a choice of games right here. I'm a premium member and I wanted to show you some of the settings that we have here. I've connected my Steam account, which is nice. You can basically continue those saves, which is really nice. There is a test built into the application, so we can go click test network and it'll give us some performance metrics on what to expect. Now, I've heard the suggestion is at least 15 megabits down. You know, I've got 95, which is good. But obviously if you're on Starlink, the ping is super high versus what you'd get on something like the NBN. So this is your measured, you're more than 50 megabits down. You've got 0% packet loss and the latency is seven. Your required or minimum requirement is more than 15 megabits a second and less than 2% packet loss and in less than 80 milliseconds in latency. And then the recommended is more than 50, less than one and less than 40. So we're well beyond recommended. This should be a fantastic experience. Now, what kind of specs can you actually play with? So if we go down over here, if we click custom, you can see that the top end is 1920 by 1080 at 16 by nine aspect ratio, 60 frames. We can also click VSync to be adaptive on or off. I'll just leave it adaptive. These are the default settings for now. So if we click balance, these are the settings that you get. You can also reduce your data. As you can see, if you go to data saver, you're gonna be using four gigs per hour. Otherwise it's 10 gigs per hour. So if you're on limited bandwidth, then this might be not for you. And that's really it. We can click games and go back. Now, obviously the easiest thing to try would be Baldur's Gate now, cause it's really uh, popular, but I'm just gonna try Cyberpunk because it's a shooting game and it's definitely possible to be played on a stream like this because it's not necessarily competitive, but it's still shooter, it's fun as single player. So I'm gonna log into GOG and press play. Connecting, it's loading. Obviously it's it's a PC game, it's gonna get booted up inside a server. Okay, I've logged into GOG. Inside this platform on the server, there's the window. It's syncing, I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. Okay, I have no idea what's happening. The screen has gone black on me. Okay, I think that's the loading screen. There it is. It's been a bit of a slow setup. Okay, first things first, I'm moving a mouse in game and <laughs> can you imagine pushing a stick through water? It's very similar to that, but it's not bad. All right, space to continue. Oh my, oh my golly. Okay, right, first things first. RTX is on right now. And it's at 1080p. And yes, it's getting streamed to my computer. And you know what? It doesn't feel that different. The other thing to note is that Cyberpunk hasn't been the sharpest game in the toolbox. It's, especially when you turn on RTX, it gets very swimmy, as I call it. This feels, oh, it's, can I change some settings? Let's just turn off RTX because I don't want that to be affecting the game. So rate tracing off, here we go, apply. That should reduce the latency that RTX creates. Now 1080p, it's, it looks very grainy, but we turning RTX off, this feels incredible. Holy crap, this is nuts. Okay, it's, there is a slight delay. Maybe not a slight, it's, you can feel it. But if you're playing this game, it might actually not make a big difference in your gameplay. Yeah, it won't be perfect as if you're playing it live, but guys, this is streamed over the internet. This is so amazing. Holy crap. I'm playing Cyberpunk at 1080p at 60 frames a second without RTX because I turned it off, but at fairly high quality, I think. Let's have a look. Medium, okay, medium to low. Okay, let's turn this up to high. Oh, that looks much nicer. Oh, wow. That looks much nicer. Yes, it, it's the mouse movements that get me, but driving around, no issue at all. If you're playing this with a controller, it would be absolutely fine. Okay, all right, I'm impressed. And it looks really nice now that I've turned up the settings. Let, let's go a little bit more. Ah, uh, okay, all right. The motion blur was hiding a lot of the inconsistencies and it feels like now I'm playing maybe on like a PlayStation 4. 
That's what it feels like. Guys, if you don't have a gaming computer and you don't have a console at $22 and you wanna play this game, it's incredible. All right, let's try a different game. Some games are available without an account, but most of the big games are required for you to have purchased them. So think of it this way, you've bought Baldur's Gate 3 for $80 or $90, whatever the price is nowadays, and then you're paying $20 a month to play it potentially. Now, Larian Studios has made a pretty amazing game that can run on very potato systems, so this isn't necessarily the best use case for GeForce now, but if you're in a remote area of Australia and, uh, you know, maybe you've only got your laptop with you and you want to play this game, then certainly you can do it as long as your internet allows it. So. I don't know if this is the best use case for it. I think Cyberpunk to experience that in its full glory is, is a better one. But again, you need to own the game. So it's a replacement entirely for somebody who doesn't have a system like a console or a gaming PC, not necessarily somebody who does. That in itself is, I guess, the crux of it. It justifies the price. I expected it to be much, much worse. I think it's bloody awesome. Okay, loading times are very, very slow. So that 60 minutes that you pay, you know, $3 for, I don't think that's going to give you much time to play. Okay. Hey, this is, this is good. It looks fine. The mouse movements are instantaneous. Okay, Cyberpunk was terrible with its mouse movements. This is so sharp. Oh, impressive. Holy crap. Okay, let's try and change some settings here. Let's go to options and let's turn up the video quality. 1080p, 60 frames, borderless, that's fine. Whoa, it's all on high. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. They give you the hardware probably that's recommended for this game. And that's it, that's all they need to do. For 60 frames a second, they just give you the hardware from within the server that justifies this gameplay. Look, it's a little bit jaggedy. I can't see any major artifacts when moving quickly, and in this game, it won't really matter. This is absolutely playable. If you've got a really low-end laptop and you wanna play this game, I mean, a 1060 is what you're playing on, absolutely. So bloody lootly, this is awesome. Absolutely playable, keyboard works perfectly. Whose turn is it? It feels when I'm looking at it, now I don't have my glasses on. I don't think I'd need them. I don't think it's my glasses that are causing this, but it just feels like there's a little bit of blurriness to the image. It's not as sharp, and I know it's 1080p, and I know it's a stream, but you know, 1080p streams can be sharp. But in this case, something's not quite right in the visuals. I don't think it's the game. I think it's the stream. You know, there's a lot of small details in this game and I think that might make it a little bit frustrating for some people. Okay, folks, there you have it. This is GeForce Now with support from Pentina, I guess. They're hosting it on their services in Perth and Sydney. And it works really, really well. I'm incredibly impressed. The latency is there, but in all honesty, if you've ever played consoles, I don't know, I don't think you'd notice it that much. But the clarity I found lacking. It wasn't as clear, as sharp as I hoped. So there must be some sort of reduction in the stream compression that makes it not as clear. However, I saw no pixelation of loss of, of resolution in the sense that all of a sudden it went all pixelated. No, there was some stutter, which I believe is because we're not getting the best hardware or the best uh, assigned hardware to the games we're playing. Obviously, Cyberpunk was on high with RTX, which means that they seem to put the hardware based on the game, which is why the games are locked down when you open up Steam or you open up GOG. It's only that certain game that's being provided. So they're giving you enough hardware to play at 1080p, at 60, at everything high. And the 1060, obviously in Baldur's Gate 3, was enough. Friends, thank you very much for joining me on this very long video. Uh, I appreciate your time. Make sure to like this video if you did and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.